Hello people, good evening from Italy and um, uh, this evening I decided to make um, a very uh, important video uh, where the topic uh, actually touches my heart into deep. It's a very very serious uh, moment for me and uh, for a lot of people in the whole world and uh, I beg your pardon if uh, my voice sounds so serious but uh, what I'm going to talk about is part of our history that can never never be forgotten I am going to talk about the commemoration day January 27 we know what happened and uh, it's uh, the Shoah who many people call in uh, uh, in uh, my opinion in the wrong way Holocaust why am I saying this probably no one ever uh, dared to to speak of this uh, of this term but if we carefully think about what I am saying I am saying that Holocaust and Shoah are completely different meanings let's think about uh, how cruel the human mind has been towards these millions of people the Jews but not only the Jews but the Jews were the majority but not only them let's think about the two words Holocaust and Shoah so Holocaust comes from the Greek word Holocaustos which is composed by Holos which means whole and Kaustos which means burnt so totally burnt and this word refers to the sacrifice of the animals which after being killed were burnt on the pyres isn't this doesn't this sound familiar to you I don't know but this is uh, uh, the, re the remembrance of a genocide in which the Nazis, led by Adolf Hitler and its collaborators, killed about 6 million Jews and the victims included 1.5 million children and that represented about the two-thirds of uh, the 9 million Jews residing in Europe. Um, why am I saying this? Because from 1941 to 1945, the Jews were systematically murdered in the deadliest genocide in history. And uh, this genocide did not only include the Jews, but also other ethnic, ethnic uh, groups such as the Slavs, the Soviet citizens, uh, the Romanis, the communists, the homosexuals, the Freemasons, the Jehovah's Witnesses and also the mentally and physically disabled people. The, the persecution and genocide were carried out in stages culminating in what the Nazis called the final solution to the Jewish question. Now, please meditate and reflect on what has been going through the history. Why am I saying this? Because Holocaust refers to animals. It recalls the sacrifice of animals. As I said, it derives from the Greek word holocaustos. I repeat, it means totally burnt. Holos caustos. And afterwards, in Latin, holocaustum same meaning also if we want to use a Hebrew word for the same 
uh, matter. Olach, the word Olach is often used in the Tanakh and it refers, as I said, to the sacrifice of the animals which were burnt on the pyres after being killed. So, why am I saying this? Why am I saying that the correct term to use is Shoah? Because Shoah literally means annihilation, destruction of the people. And the Jews were exterminated. So, if we think about it, the word Holocaust and the word Shoah, I guess I guess that the Nazis used this as sort of teasing, let's say, the Jews. The Jews were compared to nothing. The Jews were compared to animals and they were slaves. This sounds horrible. I mean, why did Hashem Mostai stay so silent in this time of darkness? Why? Why Hashem? Why? If uh, we think about it, in the Nazi camps, the Jews, these people, they are not animals. They were not animals. They were human beings with a heart, with a soul, with a mind, and with a body, and with the ability to reflect. And most of all, they were labeled as numbers. On their arms, here, they were marked with numbers. So for example, if your name was Paul, you were not Paul anymore. You were 2506. You were a code. And amongst them, they had to call themselves with their mark number, not with their names. This breaks my heart. It tears it into pieces to think that the tragedy these people had to go through. And I am making this video not only because I want to remember this day, but because I hope it will help to teach you something and that you may learn some real historical facts. Now guys, I also want to say that I am not lying, this is history. And as a person that studies culture, that studies history, I can say, go into the scriptures, go into the historical books, and you will find out that what I'm saying is truth. I really, I really hope you appreciate this effort that I am doing to try and explain uh, these things. Maybe uh, my, my English is not so good because I am not an English speaking person, I'm Italian. So I'm trying, I'm trying to do my best and as I said, I, also, I am also feeling uh, very, very emotional and uh, I'm actually pretty tired but I decided to dedicate this time to you and to all the people listening around the world to all the Jews especially that are watching this video and uh, what I would also like to say is that it's so terrible it's so terrible that people got to deny this genocide people got to deny the Shoah and also, what it saddens me is that people sometimes only remember about the Jews and 
these historical uh, episodes only on January 27th. But I say, I believe that each day is a celebration. Each day is a celebration and we should thank Hashem only for being alive, which is the most important thing, absolutely. And um, what, so why, why did this, why did Hashem let this happen? Yizkerem Hashem. Yizkerem Hashem Eloichemu. Our nation mourns its fallen sons. Their blood cries out to the sky. Hashem, why is this our fate? Mashiach, how long will you wait? Please. Do not let the memories go. Do not let them fade away. Mark them in your heart forever. Teach to the future generation what happened. Do not let this fade away. Now, going back to the terms this is why I say Holocaust is wrong to say. Because Holocaust recalls the sacrifice of animals. While Shoah literally means the destruction, the annihilation of an entire people of Israel and all the believers. They were not animals, they were human beings. I'm, ser I'm serious about this. And uh, probably one more thing I would like to, to say is that there, there, is another, there is another word which uh, mm, can possibly um, indicate the sacrifice um, of the human people and this word this word is a, is Akeda why am I saying the word the word Akeda uh, recalls the uh, sacrifice of Abraham with his son Isaac but probably this is a different uh, a different kind of a, topic but it, it, it completely it is completely different from Holocaust and, uh, and Shoah I just say that probably this word is uh, is indicate indicates uh, the sacrifice of the human people but not the entire destruction of course Akeda and um, I really hope this uh, I repeat well, I, I don't know maybe maybe I can sound boring but I I want to to repeat myself and uh, Akeda Shoah Holocaust different different meanings but uh, probably um, I I would like to I would like you to go and study the etymology of the word so that you can understand even better what I am saying. And I, I say, maybe I am the only person in the world who thinks this is actually the truth. I don't know what you think, guys. I'm not in your mind. But I want to share my ideas with you and I would like to hear your feedbacks to know if you share my ideas or if you're against my ideas I don't I don't care I mean <laughs> not that I don't care to hear from you but I don't care uh, because we all have different opinions and uh, different beliefs but I'm not speaking because um, 
I want to convince people. I want to speak because I want to let the people know my point of view for this very uh, serious, uh, serious fact. So, mm, uh, as a, a conclusion of um, of this video, I would like uh, to share with you also some uh, some um, uh, work by um, the uh, Italian Jewish writer and chemist Primo Levi. Go and check him out if you still haven't. I guarantee you that you will not regret because he has done some amazing work and I know many uh, many uh, many historical things have been written on the Jews many movies have been done uh, but uh, I'm not saying this because he's he was Italian and I'm Italian I'm saying this because of my faith and because that I think uh, he has written uh, uh, some of the most uh, accurate uh, things on, uh, on these episodes concerning the Shoah so I, I want to I would like to share them with you and uh, uh, the the name uh, the name of the work in Italian is uh, Se questo è un uomo, which translated in English is If this is a man. And um, this uh, was first published in uh, 1947. Uh, that uh, it describes uh, Primo's arrest in a, as a member of the Italian anti fascist resistance during the Second World War and his incarceration in the Auschwitz uh, concentration camp from February 1944 until the camp was liberated on January 27, 1945. And uh, um, also the book starts with uh, an invocation, the construction if, which invites the reader to make a judgment and it alludes to the treatment of the people as subhumans. So as I said before, the Jews were treated as if they were less than nothing. And also to Levy's examination of the degree to which it was possible uh, for a prisoner in uh, the Auschwitz camp to retain his or her humanity. On the other hand, this poem explains the title and uh, sets the theme of the book, which is humanity in the midst of inhumanity. The last part of the poem, beginning with the word uh, meditate, explains Le Levi's purpose in um, having written this book to record what really happened so that uh, the, the future generations will uh, reponder uh, the significance of the events that he has lived. And it also um, parallels the language of the Bahavta, which is the Jewish prayer uh, that commands um, followers to remember and pass on to the uh, future generation the teachings of your faith. So, if this is a man, mm, go and check out this work and all the rest of uh, Primo Levi's works because uh, it is probably uh, one, uh, one uh, of the most accurate authors of uh, all time uh, dealing with, uh, with the Shoah. And uh, now to close this video, I would like to read, y uh, read to you this um, very touching poem. Maybe, I don't know if it's going to make you cry, but it's definitely going to touch your heart. I guarantee you that. So, I hope you will, uh, you will appreciate Let's go on to, on to the reading. 
you who live safe in your warm houses, you who find our returning in the evening hot food and friendly faces. Consider if this is a man who works in the mud, who knows no peace, who fights for a bit of bread, who dies because of a yes and because of a no. Consider if this is a woman without hair and without name without enough strength to remember vacant eyes and cold wound like a frog in the winter meditate on the fact that this has happened these words I commend to you inscribe them on your heart when staying at home and going out going to bed and rising up. Repeat them to your children or may your house fall down. Illness bar your way. Your loved ones turn away from you. This, uh, this is it guys. I want to send you my final greetings, my blessings, and uh, may the light of Hashem always shine upon you and uh, keep on giving you happiness and prosperity. And uh, as, I, as I want to finish this video, I want to say, um, let's move, let's go out, let's go spread the word. Let's go share the support for the people of Israel. And I, I truly believe that Israel was Hashem's chosen people. And if anybody dares to hurt the people of Israel, they shall perish. They shall not pass without ha having any serious consequences. They will stumble and they will fall. And uh, to show my support, I am Israel Chai. The people of Israel lives. So. Shalom and uh, thank you for watching this video.